Oh, hey, all everybody. Welcome to our amazing round table. We have a very special one today. This is Ascend Question and Answer with the Ascend team. I'm your host, Brett Harrelson. Joining us today from left to right is Ella, Ariel, and Guy. Welcome. Hi. Hi, Hi everyone. So before we get going, real quick question. Are, is everyone's connection hardwired? Are we solid this time? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> No doubt about it. So we had this at Roundtable a little earlier in the week, if anybody remembers, and we had connection issues. So what we did is we took uh, uh, all of the questions that you guys were asking during that Roundtable, and in this in, in this live, there is uh, it's already a link to the webinar. Afterwards, you guys can watch it. I assume some of you have already watched it. If you haven't, that's where you want to go to watch the how-to and more detailed uh, product-based discussion about Ascend. Here, we're going to take a lot of the questions that you guys, our community, the experts, have already asked, and we're going to have a little Q&A roundtable where you guys can just ask what you want. So I've got a list of a few questions, y'all, if you don't mind me asking a few from the community. Sure. And those of you who are watching, if you, if you don't hear a question that's asked, go ahead and drop it in, and, uh, and I'll, I'll ask it for you. So, guys, I'm just going to jump in. Is that okay with y'all? Yes, let's start. Okay, to start off... Let's, I'm going into the grab bag. Now, you know, these people, all the, the community, we have a million questions, so I'm just going to dive in. So, a common question regarding Ascend is the forms. There's a lot of questions about forms. Uh, is there a free version of forms? And how many forms can I have on my site? And how many, and how can I customize the forms? What's the quick, and, and what's the quick answer for that? So that's a great question. Um, and the answer is that, yes, there is a free version of forms. Um, you can add uh, forms to your site. Forms is, is installed on every website, every template that you use. Uh, you can add up to five forms per site and up to 10 fields. Um, you have a variety of, of, uh, of different fields. You can uh, have uh, predefined fields like first name and last name and email. And you can, and you can add also custom fields. Uh, like drop down and uh, multi selection, um, you can customize it however you want. We, you can all you can uh, customize each uh, fields uh, separately, or you can use the global design that is a new feature that we added, which you can select a preset, or you can uh, change the color of all the fields all together in one click. Um, and all this is in the free version. That's that's fantastic. So let me let me jump in and add just a just a touch more of a of a more focused form question. Uh, another one is, is it possible to update the Ascend forms to correspond with the owner's email instead of uh, the, the random variable at CRM Wix? Is that possible? Yes. So the way to do it is to go to the inbox settings because the emails are sent from your inbox. So whenever you connect your inbox to Google, you can do it right from the inbox settings. Um, and you connect it to your uh, Google account. So all the emails will be sent from your professional Google account. Uh, you can also uh, connect a domain, or you can uh, um, uh, create a, a new one uh, from Wix from the uh, inbox settings. Um, and then all the emails will look much more professional, will be sent from uh, this um, uh, email address. That's fantastic. And, and I've got, I think, one more forms question that I, I have read a lot recently in the community, from the community. Is there a way to have multiple forms on multiple pages that all go into the same submissions table? So a lot of experts have clients that have multiple forms, but they all want them to go in the same place. Is that possible? So um, the answer is it's currently it's not supported. You can, you can add the forms to multiple pages, but each form will be um, added to a different submission table. Um, but it's a request that we get a lot, uh, and, in, and we're working on it. It's part of our roadmap, um, and uh, we hope that it will be available uh, for users uh, soon. Okay, so uh, in the roadmap, or, or at least a commonly asked feature. Fantastic. Uh, guys, I, I hope I'm, I'm asking y'all's questions here, experts, so if, if I'm missing one, just drop it in chat. I'm, I'm, I, see, I see some of y'all saying, hey, so I, hello, <laughs> we're going to keep going. I've got another question. Um, from the grab bag, are there any plans to add additional Ascend functionality into the Wix app? Yes, so a great question because uh, we keep adding more and more Ascend uh, 
and other stuff uh, to the Wix mobile app. And um, yeah, we're currently working on a few and I hope that really soon you'll see, yeah. you'll see it. One, one example is that we're currently working on a, on a new email marketing tool uh, for the Wix app. It's going to be available from, from the app, of course, um, in which uh, you all will be able to create um, uh, create a stunning email campaigns um, from the compose them from the app and send send them send them from there or create uh, email campaigns from the web and send them from the app whenever it fits you afterwards. So this is something big that's coming up uh, for the app soon in terms of ascent features. Great, and also uh, creating an invoice from the app is also uh, it's another feature that uh, we plan to add as soon. Uh, the option to create an invoice on the go right from the application is also part of our roadmap for Ascend. Fantastic. Thank you. I've got, there's a lot of uh, a community engagement right now and everybody's excited, but they've got a lot of questions. I have another question. Can you explain a little bit, and this is, this is, a, this is a one right now from, from our, our YouTube community. Can you explain to us a little bit about uh, the the people who have upgraded their website to premium, who have already uh, have a premium site, sometimes there are, how exactly do we advertise and where do we advertise about Ascend inside a premium package? That's a question that comes up sometimes in the community. Can we, can y'all go over that a little bit? Sure. That That's a great question too. Uh, so the thing with Ascend is that um, it is, uh, it is not connected to your Wix premium um, plan, but um uh so not bad but so either you're premium wix premium either you're not if you're using one of the features of ascend for example chat or email marketing or forms and if you need advanced features of those uh specific apps you can upgrade to ascend that's the idea so it's not exactly it's not uh it doesn't work with the wix premium plan it's 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 not connected to it. It's in addition to it. So when I, so when, if I have a website and I'm selling um, cocktail recipes, for example, and, mm -hmm. I, and I use the free version of chat, the end user, the people who are interested in my recipes, won't see the, uh, any kind of banner. I'm the only one that would see a, an Ascend upgrade. Is that correct? The user the, the, or, or do the client or do the people who are interfacing with the website see the Ascend ad? So if you're free ascent if you're running on a ascent free like no ascent plan then then they will see the ascent branding and if you're paying for ascend and if you're on a plan of ascend you you remove the branding of ascent from the chat from the email marketing um in the future from other ascend uh, products okay okay I, I think that answered the question if uh, if i didn't answer or ask it correctly guys just poke at me um, I haven't, so, so let's jump into email marketing. Uh, I've seen a lot of questions regarding email marketing is, uh, do website owners or, or if the experts have a client that want to send an, uh, an email newsletter or, or whatever, do they still have, uh, can they, is it still free for them to do so and how many, and, and could you quickly touch that? Yes, of course, of course. So the logic is the same as it was until today. Um, uh, all of Wix users, including free users, are getting free, um, free, free um, uh, email campaigns per month. Um, uh, this is still the same. Uh, means that users can still send um, uh, emails for free if they want, like, to further use um, uh, um, the email marketing product and send more than free or remove the ads then um, they need to be premiums, but basically they can send up to three emails for free. Okay. And that's, and that's three total th or three, yeah, sorry, three per month. Three per month. Okay. So <laughs> three per month, uh, it's still free, no cost, okay. no upgrade required. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now another really good question that I, I thought the experts asked in a, in a, in a former thread, can you set variables with email marketing? So that's a great question. I, I bet that some of you guys are familiar with the, with this feature from uh, from automations and from uh, triggered emails. Um, so we got some exciting news uh, from the email marketing angle, and we are we are currently um, like you all been some of you have been with Wix for years now, 
And, and you know that, that, that email marketing is already like a mature product. It's been with us um, for, a, for a few years now, more than four years actually. And we're now working on, uh, on renovating it, renovating it um, all of it like piece by piece. And we're now focused on the, on the composer. So uh, we're going to, to launch a whole new and fresh composer really soon. Um, uh, it's already like in, in like deep in development. Um, and once we launch this, uh, this like new composer with like, um, uh, with like a new and more up-to-date experience. So we're going to add um, new components. And uh, one of our top, um, uh, top, um, uh, top components in our wish list is to have this dynamic variable. So it's definitely in our roadmap and it's going to happen. Fantastic, thank you. Um, uh, we still have more questions in the grab bag. So I'm gonna jump into invoices and I see SSG uh, in the chat has a question that I think I may ask here. And if not, I'll come back. Are there recurring payments for Wix invoices? So that's a great question. Um, we get to hear this question a lot. Um, so currently, uh, the way to do it is only manually. But if you want to set recurring payment, that they will be sent. Um, so that's a, a new a feature that uh, is part of our roadmap, um, and uh, we hope it it will be available soon. Uh, in addition to that, we want to add uh, to invoices also the option for down payment. Um, so if you want uh, um, to get a, a down payment before a, a service or a, or a product, so it's also something that we want to add to invoices, uh, recurring payments and then down payment. Fantastic. Uh, to jump back real quick on the, on the email marketing question, Matt just dropped a really good question. Uh, he wants to know, uh, does the email marketing and new composer allow, uh, uh, can you schedule emails to send on a future date? That's that's a really great question because that's that's um, uh, another feature that we're currently working on, and uh, and it's going to be available soon as well. We will update. Yeah, that was just a well-timed question, Matt. Awesome question, and thanks for the answer. Great question, and, and, and this is something that we are going to start like we're going to start working on it uh, in development uh, really soon. It's definitely definitely in our in like high priority in our plans. I like that. Um, another question from the grab bag. Can you integrate products and services and or services in stores to invoices? So uh, I love this question because it's part of our roadmap. Um, yes, yeah, so currently the, the way that you work with invoices in price code is that you can create your own product or services, um, but it's part of our roadmap and we, want, we are now working on a, uh, integrating the list of products from stores to your invoices and price quotes, as well as the list of the uh, services from bookings. Uh, so you will be able to send price quotes um, and invoices uh, for specific products and services. Um, I don't know if you're aware, but also you currently you can connect all the stores to invoices. So uh, whenever you have a payment on your website, so you, the user can get, the customer can get an invoice straight to the uh, to his email address. Um, you can also do it from the uh, invoices settings and store settings. That's a, that's great. Uh, that's that's fantastic response. Thank you. Um, man, there's so many great questions in the grab bag, and I'm trying to be as organized as possible. Can y'all can y'all tell there was a little preparation and organization here? I hope. <laughs> so, so can you see on the, uh, now this is a question about the inbox, okay, and, and uh, about visitors on the site. Um, can you see in the Wix app or the inbox, uh, if a visitor's on the site, what, how they're accessing the site, and what information can we uh, get from, from uh, visitors? Do you guys want to answer so, that? So, I would love to share my screen and show you how to exactly what information you can see and how you can get to it. So I'm just going to uh, wait. I did not share my screen. So, so you're going to do a quick show, show us how to gather information regarding, or if you want to do a demo, there we go. There we go. Yes, please. Okay, so this is my site, uh, and I'm uh, visiting, uh, for example, I'm visiting um, the courses page. Now I want to I want to show you how is it going to look in the inbox. Okay. 
thank you. Okay, so I'm clicking on the live chat button mm -hmm. and then I can see the, a visitor, which is me. Um, I'm new. If I click on that, I can see more information. So the visitor is online. Um, he's on the page, uh, the courses page, and he's coming, he's using a desktop. I can tell if it's a desktop or a mobile. He's been on my site for 24 minutes and it's the first time he's visiting the site. Ah, so visitor number one means yes. that's the number of times they visited. Exactly. Ah. And I can tell that he's uh, from Tel Aviv, uh, Israel. And this, this information allows me to first to know who I'm talking to, but also if I'm giving a customer support, I can be very, uh, I can personalize it. So I can, I can talk to him about the fact that he's from Tel Aviv. I can offer him the services uh, um, that I can offer to Israelis as opposed to some other people. Um, I know that he's, uh, he's been on my site for a while now, so he might, might be engaged. I can already offer him a product, for example. Is, 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 the, is the inbox, is this free or is this only with upgraded packages? This is totally free. Inbox is, uh, is currently for free. All this information is uh, open. Fantastic. I think that answered that question. Um, now, since so kind of ducktailing this, uh, is it possible to see paid plans, invoices, and roles under contacts? Is that possible? Um, so yes, I guess the question refers to the contact panel. So currently on the contact panel, you can see all the information about the contact. You can see if the contact is a site member. And we want to add to this uh, section in the contact panel also if uh, the, the contact is part of a specific role or uh, has a paid plan. Um, you can also see the, the list of the tasks and notes. Uh, and if you have uh, bookings, so you can see uh, the, the previous appointments and the next appointments. Um, something that we currently work on and that will be available soon is the option to see also the list of price quotes, invoices, and the form submissions straight from the contact panel. And the great thing about the contact panel is that it's open from all the places in the business manager. So whenever you see a name of a contact, you can just click on this name and the contact panel will be open. Fantastic. Uh, and to kind of kind of attach another question on with that, Gary uh, is curious to know about uh, will the shopping cart pull together all app purchases in one buying, one buying experience? Is that planned or possible? You you mean you mean like for different purchases in the website, like for like different different verticals, I'll say for different apps. I, I I think he's wanting to know if the shopping cart will pull all app purchases in one buying. I, I'm not sure if, if I mean I can ask him to rephrase that question if you don't understand it. I think that the question refers mainly to uh, to the shopping cart on the site. It's not and it's not related necessarily to Ascend, but uh, we know that it's it's uh, something uh, that uh, both uh, the stores work on and other application. Uh, so we'll be happy to ask them uh, if they can give any uh, any more details about this and uh, if they can share it with, with the uh, with the group. We'll be happy to do it. Oh man, there's some. Uh, thank you. Great question. Still. People are really excited and have a lot of questions. So another one. Now this one is going to be uh, an experts only question, I think. Um, and is it? Uh, some people are asking a question about they love ascend and they love how the, how the invoices and how it flows. Can this integrate with the arena? And I I think that's a great question. So I know this isn't. Uh, I, I'll tell. I'll, I'll I'll. Can I take this one, guys? I'll I'll grab this one. Yeah. <laughs> I happen to know the uh, you guys. I, I know the arena team pretty good, pretty well. You guys know them. We had an event this week. We had the Wheel of Wicks with them. So I, I, I'll have a conversation with them and let you guys know that this is a, a highly sought after uh, request by the expert community and Ascend. And uh, let's see what we can do. Okay. So here's another one. Uh, somebody just asked, is it possible to assign tasks to other people in Ascend? I, I love the questions today because uh, a lot of the questions are part of our roadmap. Uh, so as you probably know, currently you can uh, add tasks, you can add a due date, and you can link them to a contact. 
Uh, so for example, if I'm, uh, I'm, if I'm building a website for Ariel, so I can link all the relevant uh, tasks that are related to Ariel site. But if Guy is work with me and he is a, a team member of my, um, is part of this project and I want to assign a specific task to him. So that's something that is part of the roadmap. And the idea is that I can uh, tag and assign a specific task to one of my uh, uh, contributors, one of the admins of the site. Um, so I know that uh, um, the task team working on this uh, feature and I hope that it will be uh, available uh, very soon. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Now, Gary just clarified his question, so I'm going to jump back. Now it makes total sense to me. Sorry, Gary, I'm a little slow, but I'm worth waiting on. So uh, he wants. So he says he has a client that has events, stores, and video rentals. So, so when he's looking at the customer view, he'd like to be able to see all transactions by that customer. It, that's what he means by tying all those together. Now, is the, is is something like that in the plan with Ascend? Yes. So uh, I think that currently the way to see the transaction that's related to a contact is doing it uh, straight from a cashier's. Um, dashboard, you can go to accept payment uh, inside the business manager settings and you have there uh, a dashboard to see all the transactions and you can see the transactions that are related to specific contact. Um, I think that's something uh, really good that we should do as a, is to connect the contact straight to a, a filtered list where you can see all the transaction, transactions from all the different places. I think it's a great idea and uh, definitely uh, something that uh, we, sh we will consider. That's fantastic. Um... So, so I, that's, that's most of my grab bag questions, but I, uh, of, of, of can I and will it, but I, I think a lot of the questions that I see a lot of in the community, uh, and experts correct me if I'm wrong, are, are really two other questions, and it's one, which apps are included in Ascend and the packages, uh, the packages and the pricing, and I think that is a uh, very common question that's asked. If you guys mm -hmm. could touch on that, I think everybody would sure. appreciate it. Sure, we would love to. I, I'm going to share my screen again and show you the pricing page. So hold on. So um, as you guys all know that we created a pricing plan for Ascend. The idea behind it, again, is to, to give uh, our users the best um, solution, like a holistic solution to all of their business uh, products, all of their needs. So what we did is we combined, we combined all of our business tools, which is chat, which is forms, which is email marketing, some options in the inbox, invoices, automation, social posts, and we combined it all into one pricing plan. Again, the idea behind it is to offer you uh, a variety of uh, uh, products um, in, in one suite, one suite of uh, tools. So regarding the pricing, so I know that you guys have been asking if we can, for example, uh, pay only for forms, pay only for chat, pay only for email marketing. So we don't, we don't give this option anymore. So you can buy it separately, but I, I, we do listen to all your feedback and uh, we appreciate it and we read it and we think about it. And again, this is something new. This is something that we're testing and uh, you're definitely the ones that we're listening to. So um, uh, you, can, you can give us more of the feedback all the time, but for now, this is uh, what we decided uh, uh, we're testing and uh, this is what we're giving. So again, we're talking, we're always gonna have the freemium version of each product. And for the advanced features, we will charge uh, for the whole Ascend package. So we have the chat features that we're uh, giving um, uh, the advanced features uh, in the premium plan. Same with forms, same, same with email marketing and the rest. Um, if you, I can show you on the dashboard. One quick, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump in real quick. Um, sure. SSG all of these that are broken down into uh, forms, chat, things like that, those are all free, okay? Th those, those, those are all base free. To upgrade mm -hmm. one, you upgrade the package. And uh, Lorraine Lilly has a great question. What if before Ascend was, was uh, launched, somebody upgraded to 20 emails 
per month in their plan, what's their mm. status with Ascend? Do they get a credit? How does that work? Um, no. The, no, if, if they it, had so, it before. So, so, yeah, so, so you didn't already have had uh, premium. They, 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 have, they have what they like purchased in the past. Oh, I see. Um, and we, we won't charge uh, differently. I think that the great thing about it is now they will get more. They get, in addition to email marketing, they also chat. get forums and they get forums. chat and automations. Right. So nothing will, will be changed for users that already have premiums, uh, forms premium right. and chat premium, email marketing. Um, and uh, I and they will get more features as part of the, uh, the packages that they already have. Um, right. So I think that- We even it, recently migrated. Yeah. All, yeah. Everyone that has had one app, like yeah. if uh, they only paid for forms or they only paid for chat or they only paid for uh, email marketing, mm -hmm. what we did, uh, we upgraded them to the next level of the tier, like the next tier, and gave them now a lot of a the lot whole solution, yeah. right? So now they only they're pay, they're still paying just for forms, but they're actually getting chat and email marketing. Uh, I understand. Whole... So if they that's that's actually a that's actually a really nice thing to do. So if they if they did have just one, they were mm -hmm. grandfathered in and got the whole kit and caboodle. Right, exactly. right. For, the exactly. same price. for the same price, we not for the new one. The pricing so of so you... next year, after their premium expires, their option would be to upgrade the same, or will they have to then move to an Ascend plan? I think that it's like, Depends. by default, it's, by by default, default, it's recurring, paying, and they'll it's keep recurring. paying what, yeah. They keep paying what they always used to pay. Oh, that's that's actually uh, really nice. Um, one of the suggestions that the experts have is in that ascend in the ascend plan, uh, add the free version so people know that there is a free version of ascend with the forms and the chat. I think I think that's the one thing that uh, uh, might help clarify. That's a suggestion for them from them maybe right. to help clarify. Great feedback. Thanks. Okay. So um, I think this has been really beneficial and helpful. I, I, I think everybody is a little bit much clearer on what Ascend is, what's included. It's it's still free, but to upgrade one, you get a bundle and now instead of just an individual one. But I believe, Ariel, as you said, uh, you do get the request that a lot of people do want an a la carte upgrade, and uh, you are hearing that, uh, so you hear their feedback. For sure. And uh, talking about feedback, we would really appreciate your feedback on especially on our new products and uh, we care a lot about it we actually have a form that we can send you um uh, if you wish to talk to us that would be amazing if you wish to just answer a couple of questions uh that would be amazing too uh, we're gonna send it to you um i think we'll also be will be we'll answer all the questions um uh, uh, inside of the Facebook group, if you have any question, you can uh, also add them, and we will be uh, we'll be uh, answer all the questions you have about Ascend. Uh, if there is a specific thing that we didn't cover today, so uh, we'll, we are part of the group, we will be happy to answer any questions. Um, so, so I think that's uh, thank you, Ella, and I think what what we'll do is is after this, we'll I'll make an official uh, uh, post in the forum, and mm -hmm. anybody who has any questions or anything, comments or whatever, let's jump in. If you three will be available and, and sort of, uh, sure. I, would, I think they would appreciate sure. it. Yes. And, and there were a lot of questions about the new product. So if you guys didn't have a chance to check it out, um, uh, so go for it. Like uh, go to, go to like the Ascend section in the, in the, in the, in the dashboard, in the dashboard um, uh, to customer management and to marketing tools, you'll find there like a bunch of new stuff. Um, so try it, try it, and as, as Ariel said, like, we would love to get your feedback on the Fantastic. Um, I, think that's, I think that's great. And Matt throws out another great question. Um, is there, are there any plans to have uh, chatbots or automated sort of processing? That's a good question. So, so that's a great question. Uh, currently, we have in chat uh, uh, quick responses, right? So, uh, mm -hmm. and... We have chat integrated with automations. So you can go to automation, select any trigger you want. For example, a new purchase on the store, form submission, get subscriber, cart abandonment. card abandonment, any trigger you want. And you can select the action, the chat action. Um, and then you can customize the content there and the timing if you want the message to be sent immediately uh, or with, a, with a small delay. Whatever you uh, decide, you can do it straight from automation. 
Um, and I think it's also a great um, question because it reminds us that everything in Ascend is that it's, it's uh, the great thing about Ascend is that everything is integrated. Right. So forms is integrated with automations and with inbox. Um, so we can go to automation and connect a lot of different products. Uh, and then the whole Ascend uh, system just right. work for you behind the scenes. Um, and in general, like the contact panel is now everywhere you yeah. see a contact. So you see the information about this user. It's all integrated with bookings, with stores. Basically, a, lo a lot of the work that we did before this launch was to make sure that the, all these relevant integration points exist in order for the system to work for you guys. Um, uh, so for the um, the like more mature products, like uh, if you want like dive into them, you you won't see um, a lot of change. But if you play with them, you'll see that like there are many like new integration points, like from the inbox to email marketing, from the email marketing to the contact panel, from like and and so on. Fantastic, Vinny. Vinny's excited about it. Vinny made an appearance earlier. Or, uh, this this year, Vinny the Plant. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that, Vinny. I'm just teasing. So I think I think this is really good. Will you tell us real quick? I, I, from from one more quick question. What are the new apps included in this? Real, just off the top of your head, what are the new ones that they should be looking for? So we added price quote. is a new product that allows you to send a price quote. You can customize it and different products, and it uh, fully integrated with a, with a chat and with invoices. Um, so whenever you send a price quote, you can set, you can set it uh, right from a, a price quote uh, settings. Um, so when the customers will get the price quote, they have the option to ask a question straight from the price quote, and then they can, they can just uh, start the chat with you. Um, so no way to go back to the email and ask question. You can close everything straight from a uh, price quotes. Um, and uh, you can also set it from the settings that whenever someone uh, accepts the price quote, they will get automatically an invoice, and then you can close the loop, everything straight from uh, Assam. That's fantastic. Tasks is new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Um, so test, give it a try. It's um, you, you get you can get notified on each task by email uh, the day before and the day of. You can assign a specific contact to a specific task like send uh, Ella uh, a logo, whatever. Um, this is very helpful for management, to manage your business, your daily business. Mm -hmm. uh, we added labels, uh, the contact panel that opens everywhere and has uh, pre-filled labels. We added multiple notes. So now you can add different notes. You can add, uh, <clears throat> sorry, personal notes. You can add some a meeting summary notes. Uh, you can add multiple notes per contact. Um, we also integrated inbox right straight to the contact panel. So the inbox can be opened from all the different places uh, where you have uh, contact information. Mm -hmm. uh, we also added a lot of new features to Wix form. So now you can, um, you can uh, uh, add a, a link to an external URL straight from your Wix forms. Uh, we are adding the option to download a file straight from uh, Wix forms. Uh, we added a lot of new presets. Uh, and new design capabilities uh, to forms. Inbox, we added a few new capabilities. Uh, you can integrate uh, your Facebook page, your business your Facebook business page into the inbox. So then you can manage everything from one place. Uh, you can send products uh, from the keyboard uh, in the inbox. Uh, you can send um, coupons. Uh, coupons. You save replies. Save right. So, so there's a lot. Let's just say there's a lot <laughs> in the marketing tools. Um, we added we added social post, which is a relatively new product in web uh, that allows you to create a um, stunning social media post and share them on your uh, social media channels. Um, and we added a very cool cool new feature, which is the video maker that allows you to create um, a professional um, promotional videos um, in seconds. It's based on like a on like a on AI technology um, uh, that's created for you and uh, you can customize it if you wish and uh, in seconds it's like ready to share um, and as we, as we said before there are many many um, things to come we are super focused these days and uh, like our next um, uh, roadmap is going to be very exciting based on a lot of things that you guys asked yes that, that's so why keep, it's very important for us to 
to keep yeah, getting yeah. the feedback, feedback. Uh, because uh, it's very uh, valuable for us and uh, um, we take it into account whenever we think about a new thing that we want to add to the product. And then we want to create something that works for you. Yeah. Well, I, the, as you can see, the experts have amazing, amazing ideas and they're very engaged with, with you guys. So it's because you guys spend the time to come and listen and, and we all really appreciate that. Um, so I want to I wanna thank all of you. And I also want to thank the experts for participating and uh, being a part of this. It's, it's, it's really, really important. And thanks so much, everybody, for... Thank you. For, thank you. And, 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 and guys, I want to thank you guys so much again. Uh, Ella, Ariel, Guy, thanks so much for coming. Thank and, you. And I'm going to make a post, and I'll, I'll, I'll tag you all and make sure that uh, uh, you guys see it. And experts, if you guys have any questions and you want to be a part, let's, uh, let's have that conversation. Let's keep it going. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.